you set a timer on your phone for two minutes. So, no tell me when the timer's ready. We're gonna do a lightning round now to try to get through as many questions as possible. Lightning round. Lightning round. And it's two minutes? If you get through all of them, then... I get a prize. You get a prize. I okay. get to take off that hat. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, ready? Two minutes. Ready, go. This one's from Dana. What is the number one trait you look for when considering a potential hire? Optimism. This one is from Meredith in Los Angeles. Where are your hoodies from? Aviator Nation, mostly. Sometimes TNBC. <laughs> nice. Um, this Thank one you. is from John in Singapore. Do you believe each person is born with a unique repertoire of natural strengths? Uh, I completely do. People are born unique, and those, that uniqueness is expressed in what you find joy and strength and satisfaction in. The second part of that question, do you think that these natural strengths will fundamentally remain unaltered during the person's lifetime? Yes. Your natural uh, re recurring patterns of thought, feeling, or behavior don't change over the course of your life. What changes is your comfort with them, your ability to express them intelligently, and the skills that you acquire that enable you to contribute them. Not bad. Okay, this is from Anton in yeah. Moscow. Anton. Could the world stop Hi, Anton. <laughs> Could the world stop for a week and discuss and agree on what is right and what is wrong in our practices and understandings? That's just not going to happen. Having said that, you can. There's absolutely no doubt that, that taking a moment to stop the wind whipping past your ears and breathe in and breathe out and figure out what's important to you and then make sure that you're aligned around what's important to you, you can do that. The world will keep going on beside you, but that doesn't mean that you have to charge around like a mad prune. You can create stillness and clarity in your life. Okay, Anton. this is from Mark in Nashville. Do you have any oh, ideas Nashville. for topics for a master's thesis on strategic leadership? Mm. Uh, yes. Next question. Okay. No, I'm, just, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. Um, I would want to know um, what are the most reliable ways to measure leader effectiveness? I would want to know whether or not we could have a number of agreed upon ways to measure leader effectiveness. Because frankly, Mark, there's a part of me that thinks that leadership doesn't exist. There's no such thing as leadership, a defined thing like what? Oh, oh. Uh, yes. How do you measure the outcomes of leading? <laughs> do that. Okay. I have three more, actually four more questions, but they were all from me, so I don't know if they can. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to hear them anyway? No. <laughs> who, who is the smartest person on your team? Ooh, uh, me. <laughs> oh, so, oh, sorry. Oh, uh, sorry, that's a wrong answer. Here's the right answer. <laughs> Everybody is smart in different ways. Oh, that was very diplomatic. <laughs> Who is cuter, Maggie or Fitz? Maggie. Aww, Aww. No, they're equally cute, but you're right. Uh, where is the best burger in LA? He's a vegetarian. <laughs> uh, I think the best burger I remember, how, it's in and out Burger. I yes. That's fine. Sorry. And give us two truths and one lie. Ooh. Two truths and one lie? Yeah, then we have to guess what uh. the lie is. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> where's the fun in that? <laughs> um, <laughs>